actually connected with Tyler and Margaret on an online site. It was not long after that that we had connected for coffee. What I like to do is I like to sit down with my clients before we actually go start viewing homes and that way I can actually set realistic expectations and let them know how the home buying process works in the state of North Carolina. I know a lot of other states it's very different so it's important to kind of set those expectations up front. While I was meeting with them and especially once we started looking at homes in the very beginning of our process, I started to learn what things they liked, what things they didn't like and kind of navigated them through that process so that we could really narrow in on the homes that they loved. Uh, we definitely wanted like an open kitchen, living room area because that's where we spent a lot of time. The house that I grew up in had like a big foyer so I just like a lot of openness windows at least three bedrooms. They also need to have space in the backyard because they do have pets and they want an area where they can run. A like to have that they mentioned was a flex area. So maybe something like a playroom or for an office, just an area that they can really use however they want to. The areas that they're looking at are Raleigh, Cary, and Apex areas. And the tricky part of it all is trying to find exactly what they're looking for in a highly desirable area, all within their budget. I want a house that we can kind of grow into. I don't want to move into something that's already done. I want something that'll kind of evolve with us. I don't, I don't want to fix the rubber though. Well, I'm sure we can find something in between. Are you guys excited? Absolutely. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> So I think it's right in the the size that we're looking for. My big concern right now is there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Some things that present a challenge throughout this process are going to be things like when the inspection report comes back and there's about 50 to 60 pages on it and setting the expectations that in such a demanding market such as this one, the seller may not necessarily agree to do any of the repairs at all. I wish the master bedroom were bigger, but um, that closet kind of makes up for it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> close over here and then if they're gonna build on the other side then it's you know a year down the line there's gonna be 20 houses packed into this little neighborhood. What I really liked about this process was that I got to know Tyler and Margaret really well and through that I created some lifelong friends. Well let's go see the last one. Let's see what you can see. Tyler. Okay. about this one. 
Uh, so I love the interior. There are a lot of great things going on. The game room upstairs, or I guess I've already made it a game room. It's just an empty <laughs> space right now. It's a game room in my head. Uh, I think that's a great space. The master bedroom is huge, which is super cool. I like how the bedrooms are actually a little bit bigger. I love this dining room area. I like the open layout of this a lot more. As far as the master bedroom, I don't think there's enough windows and there's that big dead space. Like we right. honestly don't know what we would do with it. All right, well, we looked at three amazing houses. You guys have a tough decision. So yeah, we're gonna have to talk. <laughs> yeah, so you guys go grab something to eat, you talk about it, get back. In the meantime, I'm gonna start pulling comps. I just wanna make sure that each home is priced properly. And then when you guys make your decision, we'll go from there. Awesome. Perfect. Sounds do you guys great. have any questions? No, you've been great. Awesome. I've always wanted to do a career where I could really leave a positive impact on other people's lives. I am just really excited to see which house they choose. You guys have had a chance to talk about it. What did you guys decide out of all three? So, we've decided to go with... <laughs> <laughs> Little water. This one right here. This one. House number one. So the reason that we went with this house is because it has a huge backyard. It has all the space that I was really wanting and the windows, which are fantastic. It has a lot of room for growth too. It's, it's going to be something that we can make into our house, um, which I originally wasn't really open for. <laughs> but once we just set foot in it, it was, you know, the more we thought about it, it was our dream house. Yeah, I mean, look at the view. How could you say now? <laughs> it's fair.